What is up everybody? Angry World Cup Gaming here and we are back with another episode of the Real Zeta Goza Career Mode series guys and you guys we have finally done it. We made the transfer come true. Rafael Leal was the one. You guys wanted Rafael Leal. A couple people wanted Leal. Now the only the only situation with that is uh the money. We have 14 6.6 mil 67 mil. So it's still a chance to probably sign someone like Agu or we have so the ones the one the couple options we have right here is right here so we have agu agire and barnabi so i want to see how much the the scouting does for them but i don't think they'll be done by like the end of the transfer window i believe they'll probably will or they'll probably we'll probably get to know like the value of each one of them and then i'll probably i'll probably decide between which one i want really so in this episode, uh, we're going to be playing UD Almeria. We're going to play Atletico Madrid, probably. And uh, I think we're going to play two games only for today's episode. And we'll keep it short and simple because we'll probably next episode is some international games. I think I'll play this Denmark game or something like that. But we have UD Almeria to kick off today's episode, guys. Um, so I do want to start Broderick on this game, and it's going to be a risky one because I want to start him because I feel like if we play him, we might get a loan offer depending on his uh, performance, and I think that's probably the move. And then we have Leal, who's going to be starting in his first game. I think this was honestly a good transfer. Now, I did have an AC Milan career mode a couple years ago, but that honestly was like one of my first career modes, and we're a little bit more experienced now a little bit in career modes. So I think this would be a little bit of a better situation here instead. I want Broderick to have a playing time to see if we can get a loan offer. I hope he does. Anyways, we're going to get into this. It's UD Almeria taking on Zaragoza. Let's get into this match. All right. To kick off today's episode, we're taking on UD Almeria. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. This is the first game in La Liga in season number three. Yep, we're in season three already, guys. Uh, the more we play, the more we're probably going to be uh, wrapping this career mode up. I could see us do up to five to six seasons, depending how our team improves. Um, I mean, that's all I got to really say into this, guys. Uh, let's get to it, though. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna, I want, I don't want to see any interruptions or anything like that. Let's just get into it. We have a chance on winning this game for sure. <laughs> I mean, this team just got promoted, I believe, so. Oh, I could get their other... Oh, no, there is a left. What was that pass? Francho passes it to Rafael Leal. Passes it to Ivan. Gonzalez. What a goal from Gonzalez! Uh, what a goal! Federico Gonzalez kicks off La Liga. <laughs> he kicks off Real Zaragoza's debut in La Liga this season. Oh, not their, their season two debut. <laughs> what a goal. Federico Gonzalez kicking that one outside the box right there. Ba bam and he gets that in two. That's what we like to see. UD Almeria. Oh my god. Nico, you were so close on touching that. So close on touching that right there. But it did. he didn't end up touching it. That's the first goal in the first matchup. What a goal. One nail, guys. Let's get it. Let's try to get another goal into this. All right and now. I thought we would have made two goals by now. I mean, hey, we still have a chance. It's one nil. Look at that right there. Look, it's a good, it's good, good way to start the season. I mean, uh, I don't know who we could really put in. I mean, we could put in Clemente, you know, a little bit later on. I think we could just put him in right now. Actually, why not? We'll put him in, and I think we'll just go ahead and keep it like that. Um, but bam, let's go ahead and get it to it. One nil. Real Zaragoza, UD Almeria. Let's get it. Bryce Mendez. Ooh, Bryce. Bryce Mendez, he's running with the ball. This is his first Bryce chance. Mendes, Bryce Mendez, come on, Bryce! Oh my God, he's playing good defense right here. Well, not good defense, good offense. I mean, um, ba bam, Nico, 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 Nico! What a banger from Nico Gonzalez! Nico, what a goal! Golazo de Nico Gonzalez. It is his first goal of the season. Oh my god, look at that right there. And that literally went in the box. Look, it went up and hit down and went down. So if that went up, it was up, if that was a little bit higher, Nico would probably have missed that. But he'll take it. I know he'll take it. He'll take that. 2 0. One more goal and I'll settle it right there. Joe Roden, Francho, Nico Gonzalez. Gonzalez passes it right there to Ivan, 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 Ivan! Go! Goal! <laughs> Ivan! 
<laughs> he's by the zone. He's already got that third goal in for us. <laughs> and that right there is probably game right there. Three goals already. Real Zero goes to take the three goal advantage. Right there. What a golazo from um, Ivan Azon. We're going to go ahead and put in Bada. We might as well put in Bada because I think, uh, you know, we already won this. It's 3 0. We're going to go ahead and jump to simulation and we end up with the 3 0 win. Vada gets subbed in, of course. Clemente. What a game. Good game, guys. Let's get to some more simulating and get to the next game against Atletico de Madrid. Okay, so I decided that probably it's going to really depend on how Broadrich is. Um, how he plays from now on is how we will really settle it because, hey, he has one clean sheet, one everything. Ayesha hasn't even gotten a game. He's had three friendly matches where they don't really matter. But I'm going to start Brodrich again in this game against Atletico. I'm going to start him in this game, right? And then I guess we'll give Ayesha the next two games. So, like, every two games, it'll be, like, Ayesha and then Brodrich. Ayesha and then Brodrich. That's what I'm going to probably do from now on. So I can, like, at least get, like, some rotation out of them. Uh, I am trying to check if we do have um, European competition. That is one thing I do want to check out. Did, we, did they draw the groups yet? They didn't draw the groups yet. I want to see if they do so I can, like, know if I'm, like, in the conference league or any of that nature. So, yeah, there you go. Leal is to replace Nav Navarez. That's one thing. And uh, before we start today's game... Uh, this is the last game of today's episode. Also, I do want to say if we got to know by the end of this episode which one of these three I'm going to sign. I added Sintelis to see how much, but I don't think I'm going to be able to sign him because due to that release clause, he has to be a bargain. He has to be a bargain. So it's really going to be between these three. And I think the most, the most one, the one I think I'm mostly going to be going to is Eric Aguirre. We're going to see what the offer is has for us but it is that goes to taking off atletico de madrid we're gonna get into this game do we want to put any oh yeah we said we're gonna start brodrich in this game so brodrich is getting his starting role right here and then i guess i will be play, playing the next two games uh and i think that's what we'll do for this one yep i think that's what we'll do so let's get to it it is zargoza taking on atletico madrid with the, with the start of the season, now last season we had a match against Atletico Madrid early in the season like this one. I think it was literally our opener. And in our opener, we ended up getting a draw on that one. This time, I'm hoping we can go ahead and get the W. That's what the real purpose is in this um, this game right here. I really would like to have the, the win off... The, I can't even think of the team's name. Atletico Madrid. And uh, they looks like they have strengthened their um, players. as They have Koulibaly... And uh, Kong Kondrogo be uh, oh my god, this team looks kind of too good for us. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get the win here. We did get the win against UD Almeria. That's what I like to see. Too. Well, let's try to go ahead and get into this one against uh, Atletico Madrid. So let's try to get this win right here and uh, see how this goes. And it looks like they're going for that early goal. Brodrich and Brodrich with the save. I think that was Brodrich with the save. Good save from Brodrich. He's been having impressive games right now. I don't know. They got to really fix that glitch with the numbers because the numbers do not look good uh, without. This just doesn't look good. You know, it just doesn't. Luis, oh my God. I can't even say their names. Chavaria passes it to Francho Serrano. Serrano passes it to Azon. Azon. And he's offside right there. Gonzalez is offside. Richarlson, no, no! Oh my god, we're getting this again. Jao Felix with the first goal against us. It's not looking good for us. 1-0, oh, we're taking down the lead. I need to get this draw, bro. Hey, I'll take another draw. Nah, we gotta get this one, but no way, bro. It's not looking good for us so far. I want to get his first goal in two matches. They really got to put us against Atletico really early in the mat in the in the season too. Bro. Nico, Nico, for Francho, Rafael out. Gonzalez, Federico Gonzalez. Already, already he gets his second goal. Federico, the one of the best young academy players we've had in a decade, in a, not a decade in a while. Federico Gonzalez gets his first go second goal in La Liga, I believe. And that is right there. He gets the goal against Atletico too. Atletico 
you know, it's really it's really of a tough squad to face, I believe, in in um in our in our team really. But a tough squad like Atletico really really sharpens uh how we play, how how Federico plays, you know. Jao Felix, one of the one of the not the you know, one of the most interesting players. Alright. We're getting into halftime guys and it looks like we're in a one one draw again, the same situation we were in the last season. Uh I don't wanna put in anybody in yet, so we're just gonna continue. I don't even know if I'm gonna show the halftime screens from now on. I don't Rafael Lau, he's the only one there, you know, it's really good. Ivan passes it to Lau, Lau, Lau. Juice defender, who's that? Why? Bro, what was that? No, 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 no. Francho, 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 you literally, oh my god, Francho, we had a chance, but you literally, literally, Francho, Francho, no, Francho, we had a chance. And it doesn't look like, bro, it was Francho who sold us, bro. What was Francho doing out there? Does anybody, can anybody, I'm probably, I'm going to put that in right there, bro. Francho literally sold us that game right there. We could have had it 2-1, but no, he sold us the game right there. And he just, we could have, we could have, bro. Really, really could have, though. Federico Gonzalez gets player of the game, though. Good, congratulations. Let's get to some more simulating and, like, end this episode. Ooh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Now, this is the most stupidest offer. They're giving me Sensi for a goddamn um, Bryce Mendez. 60 mil. Look how much they're giving me. That is the worst transfer offer I've ever seen in my life. That is the most worst transfer offer I've ever seen in my life. But, bro, we are in third in La Liga. Azon gets an offer this time. He gets two. One for Wolves. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check these out. Sevilla offering Munir. Now, I would accept this deer, but we don't need no wingers. But the Wolves offer, it is kind of intriguing. But look how much value we can get. We can literally get 100 mil for him. I'm not going to accept that. 100 mil is what I would accept. Like, give me at least 100, and then we could talk, start talking. Because, yeah, I, I mean, we literally could start talking. Me, Wolves, we'll talk again, bro. Because they stole our players, and they want to steal, steal more of our players. I could see that. But, though, it doesn't look like they're going to do that this time. This is squad submission files. All right. Maxwell, no. We're not giving Maxwell. It's going to be Broadridge who's going to be called up for the national team. Uh, I don't see any other players I do want to call up as well, but it does, it does look like Gareth Bale. He's a 78. Oh, God. Um, it doesn't look like anybody I really want to call up. Uh, <laughs> because this really nothing. They don't have really enough players that are strengthened for this squad. I mean, I do like the, the likes of um, Daniel James over here. But Daniel James might not uh, help us, you know. But we're going to go ahead and get to the Celta game. And Nakai gets a little... Uh, yo, 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 Nakai, yo, yo, they can go ahead and take Nakai. Hetafe. You know, I'll take that loan offer for Nakai. Uh, Nakai. We'll go for one year. I just want a one-year offer. But, because, like, we're basically done with this episode because we're not playing anymore. We have Celta. We're going to let Ayesha play this game. So, quick sim it. We're going to quick sim it. Serrano, you sold us last game. I hope you don't sell us this game. We end up with that 2-1 loss. Wow. Let's get to the next game. So, they're asking for 16.400 for goddamn Eric Aguirre. Yeah, they think they're they're going to they're, they're slick. But, I think Felix Agu is the best offer here. He's probably the most cheapest one. I mean, we didn't have enough either ways for, like, between all of them. Uh, like... Eric Aguirre, he's still, he, he's like, he should be higher, but like, I feel like there would be more of a realistic transfer. And uh, uh, Bernardi, he's a little bit more expensive. We only had like 14 mil to work with, and we have European Championship qualifiers up next. God damn it. Uh, I think I'm going to simulate this first one, though, against Greece, though. But I do want to show you guys, yeah, we have Felix Aguirre into the, Aguirre, Agu, Felix Agu into the squad. This is a really good uh, transfer on the left back, too. Uh, because Chavaria, he's not really improving, and I believe if we can go ahead and put Felix Agu into this he'll probably get some more playing time i think he'll get more playing time either ways he's gonna start he's i feel like he's gonna grow between between him and chavaria he's probably gonna grow more i i don't know but chavaria he he's gonna be in the bed now i think agu will start in the bench i don't think it's his time to really shine up here um into the role of a uh, left back 
uh, in the left back, but it's not his time to really like start. You know, you get me. Uh, so we have Soria gets a loan offer now, and this is like we've been asking for a loan offer now for a while. Mendes gets one for Atletico Madrid. Like, look at this. It's not really like I want. I want like at least eighty. If they give me eighty, at least we could talk about Bryce Mendes, and then that'll probably be the future of Bryce Mendes. That's all I had to say. As long as they give me like eighty k or something like that, that's what I want to really say. We're going to quick sim this game against the Greece, though, and we end up with the result of a 3-2 loss. How do we lose to Greece? They're in last place. Oh, my. All right, we're going to go. Put, we're gonna play the next game against Denmark, though. Um, we are going to do that in the next episode. Yep, we'll play Denmark in the next episode, but I want to play the like, tougher teams. I don't know how Wales lost to Greece. Uh, <laughs> I really don't, but wait a minute. We actually... No, wait. We could actually simulate Denmark because if we win or lose, either with the result, we will be on top of the group stage. So I'm going to quick sim this one actually, and we end up with the two-two draw. Okay, I don't have to play international this time. So there, maybe we'll play the next game. How about that? We'll do that instead. So yeah, we'll do that. So Bernardi. So Bernardi would have been a 75 overall. He's worth 13, but like they would have wanted like more. Eric Aguirre, he was worth less, I think, but we got Felix for a little bit less um, money. They wanted like 16 mil for him. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and accept that. So Soria will be leaving on a loan at the end of this, uh, at the beginning of the season, though. Um, yeah, and Alex Centales, how much do you think you would have been? 79 mil. Yeah, not 79 mil, 79 overall. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know. But we'll play this game against Real Betis in the next episode. We do have Europa Conference League, actually. Hold up. You know what? We might as well just play Europa Conference League. How about to start off the next episode? We could just do that. We'll quick send this one against Real Betis. How about that? We end up with the 1-3 loss. Bro, I want to play Conference League. That's what I want to play. Conference League. Bro, if we get the Conference League win, bro, yo, that's going to really, really impact us. So... I want to see who we drew. So the next episode, we will have conference league. We'll play this game against Had. I don't even know what, what how to say it, but split. We'll play split in the next episode. We'll play Barca in the next episode. And depending, we'll probably play this team. Or if not, then I think I'll play Germany in the next episode. But that's probably what we're going to do for the next episode, though. Uh, and this is how the squad's looking like. Ayesha is not going to start. I think it's Brodrich's time to start because I'm switching it up. So Brodrich starts in this one. But I think I might start Agu in this one too. To like, uh, spi not spice it up, but like give everyone a chance, you know. Sola is not supposed to even be here. I mean, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, Oh my god, this I'm looking and looking more into this squad. It really needs like strengthen up. We need to really strength strengthen up our like our uh, like in general. Like, you know, we have uh at least four eighty overalls. We have Mendez, we have Gonzalez, Azon, and the Al, of course, these guys have been playing great. But I really hope Gonzalez hits that 80 soon because he's been phenomenal, bro. And Joe Roden, he's been playing great as well for us, bro. This guy right here, I don't see, like, this next season, it's probably the Pedro Porro transfer. If not, then I'm hoping then we can, if not, the Pedro Porro won't happen, then, uh, we might need to look, we'll, we'll see on that goalkeeper situation, depending on how Ayesa, um, performs. Because I really hope he gets a good performance, you know, a really good performance. But yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. Split will be the next ep uh, next game in the next episode, guys. So the conference league, yep, the conference league, we are in it. I'll take a trophy from there if we if we do do terrible in La Liga this season, which I feel like we will. Then I, you know, the conference league might be the move. But it looks like the best teams here in the Conference League is Lens for sure, which will probably be some uh, struggle. Let's see, Trab Sunspur. I think I said it right. That team's going to be one. Lazio's here, so that's going to be one. Um, maybe that Turkish that Turkish team and uh, Royal Anfer. Arsenal, okay, Arsenal's going to be a tough one. Um, Hertha Berlin, for sure. Feyenoord, and then we have us in this one. So, yep, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.